Live confirmed today that a young man shot and killed in Atlanta Tuesday was an entrepreneur and a mentor. Now, well. this shooting, Angelina, happened right outside of the tribute lost in Old Fourth Ward. In fact, we brought you this story's breaking news this time yesterday. 11 Alive, Teresa Bowles, live outside of Chad Dillon's Buckhead restaurant. And Teresa, I know you've been speaking with his family, in particular, uh, the victim's sister. I did, Jonathan, on the phone because most of Chad Dillon's family is in New York, too distraught to speak right now. Mm. But there is a memorial outside of his restaurant here on Piedmont Road. It's called the Boiler Seafood Crab and Boil, where he believes where he leaves behind a legacy here in Atlanta. Atlanta police are still investigating what led up to Dillon's shooting death. A spokesperson for the department says he was shot multiple times in his Rolls Royce. Condolences have been pouring in from all over Atlanta. Atlanta rapper Lil Baby, who he co-owned the seafood menu with, and to the plethora of people he's impacted along his business journey. One of the ways Dylan gave back was through his work with inmates. Edwin Prosper says he was one of Dylan's mentees. He says Dylan would come to jail almost weekly. Prosper wow. was released just a month ago. He says finding out Dylan was gone was painful. It kind of hurt me, honestly. It hurt me bad just knowing that I, I was, that person was a part of my life when I was going through something. So to see me out here now and then, you know, that happened, it just is it's heartbreaking. Wow. Now, police have not announced an arrest in this case, but they did describe this deadly shooting as targeted. Live in Atlanta, Teresa Bowles, 11. Beloved restaurateur gunned down while in his car in a busy portion of the city. Tonight, Atlanta police are still searching for whoever is responsible. Fox News' Eric Perry spent the day talking with those who knew Chad Dillon. Eric is live outside the restaurant with these details. A lot of reaction to his murder, Eric. Yeah, just seeing a lot of people not accepting what happened last night. I'm going to move out of the way. This is his restaurant. You can see the balloons. There are also flowers and there are candles there as people, again, try to grapple with this loss. I'm hurt. I'm, I'm, I'm broken. My heart's broke. Bree Dawson is just one of many feeling the immediate loss of Chad Dillon. Atlanta police say they got a call Tuesday just before four of a person shot inside of their car near the intersection of John Wesley Dobbs and Boulevard. The medical examiner confirming that person was 33-year-old Chad Dillon. Dillon owned the popular boiler Seafood and Crab Boil, that's on Piedmont Road, and was working to open another business at the place where he was killed. I sat out here all night. I sat out here all night. Dawson started this growing memorial with balloons, flowers, and a candle. He meant a lot to the community. Chad was a pillar of this community. Chad was the community. Chad is Atlanta. Atlanta's Chad, Chad is Atlanta. And for this to happen to No one cares about Chad Dillon, man. I see Angry Man did a doing a video on it. Shout out to Angry Man, man. But niggas don't care about guys like this. This guy was a this guy was the real deal, man. He wasn't talking about it, man. You know how hard it is to run a seafood business, man? All the product coming in and going out, and the product is not stable. It's, you know, it can, it's got a certain shelf life. It's got to be served immediately. You know, you got a temperature frozen and all this stuff. All the codes and stuff. Seafood is different than just regular food. This brother had to be on the ball to run a seafood joint, man. For a son man to run a seafood joint, his brother had to be on the ball, man. Man. This community, Chad was the community. Chad is Atlanta. Atlanta's Chad, Chad is Atlanta. And for this to happen to him is sickening. It is just a huge void. It is, and I'm not really sure if that's ever going to be be able to be filled up. RJ owns the Smoke Trip Smoke Shop next door to the boiler. He says they opened up their businesses at the same time and quickly became friends. He's always there for people. He did Thanksgiving turkey and give out, and it just I'm just lost for words at this point. I went inside uh, these prisons and talked to inmates and uh, helped them with life skills, um, social skills, and business skills. Giving back was important to him, 
this from when he came on Good Day Atlanta to talk about helping those behind bars create business plans when they get out. I work right here at the bar, at the dishwasher. I started out as a dishwasher. And that was, to me, that was opportunity, but it was also a chance to show me he had faith in me, despite my background. You have somebody that's motivational, this young like that? You don't try to harm them, you try to learn from them. Yeah, a lot of emotions coming in. At last check, Atlanta police say they are hoping someone will have surveillance video nearby of where that shooting happened. Hopefully it will give them clues as right now they need your help. If you know anything, come forward. You can't remain anonymous. In Lindbergh, I'm Eric Perry, Fox 5 News. All right, thanks for the late. Wow, man. So sad, man. So sad. I've been at Atlanta restaurant owner targeted and killed in a shooting just over 24 hours ago. Atlanta News First, you asked me to Austin is live at the board of seafood, Chad Dillon's Buckhead restaurant that was just about to open up. Yes, Mina, there's already a memorial for him there. Yeah, Alan, today we watched his friends, customers, and employees stopped at the restaurant to pay their respects for the owner, Chad Dillon. And while that memorial sits outside of this restaurant here in Buckhead, police are continuing their investigation into his death. Sad like a big. Big grizzly bear, man. He coming out, but he be like, without the grizzly though, he just a bear, like. He cool, he cool as hell, man. Atlanta resident Bentley didn't think he'd be walking up to the boiler seafood in Buckhead to leave flowers without going inside to eat and catch up. Normally, he came to this restaurant to see the owner, Chad Dillon. Guy gave me roses. He helped the community out, feel me, he deserved them. He was giving everybody else stuff, so that's all I had to give him. Bentley is one of many mourning the loss of Dylan. A memorial of flowers and balloons sits outside of his extremely successful business, first opened in 2020. The 33-year-old was shot and killed on Tuesday near his new restaurant in Old Fourth Ward. Atlanta police say in a targeted incident. Man, I miss it. Seeing him, showing me love. Every time, whatever he's doing, he's going to stop what he's doing, put his thing down, stuff like that in. Come dap me up, give me a hug. Yeah, all right, little bro. Just make sure I'm all right. Got my head on straight. I'm staying out of trouble. Dylan was not only a businessman in Atlanta, but also gave back to this community. Atlanta News First interviewed him two years ago when he donated $15,000 of his own money to ex offenders at the Atlanta Reentry Prison, helping them develop businesses and stay out of jail. This was Dylan speaking on his efforts at the time. Some of these guys are really good guys that made one mistake. These people still have skills, they still have talent, they still have a lot of knowledge, and they're still creatives. And we don't want to forget about our creatives. And the business is open today, and we have seen customers coming here. Again, that memorial sits right out front in memory of Chad Dillon. Now, as for that investigation, there are still a lot of questions. At this time, Atlanta police have not said anything about a suspect, who the suspect might be, or if they have anyone in custody, or if they're looking for anyone. We'll, of course, bring you those answers as we learn more. Man. Make sure you take the five dollar challenge, man, via PayPal, Cash App, or Super Chat. It's, it's five bucks, man. Make sure you support the channel, man. Hit the like button. Smash the like button. Everybody who's in here needs to smash the like button. You see, they scatter stuff on two ten, man. Two hundred and ten viewers, man. It's like half of what we usually have. Some t- most nights, man. It's like half. And I know it's not your fault. I'm not blaming y'all. I'm just t- asking y'all to see if that'll work. See if that'll help out, man. See if that'll give us some rope, man. Mm. Jesus Christ, man. That seemed like a good brother. I'm not even going to lie, man. That seemed like a genuinely... He seemed like a genuinely good brother, man. All the links in the description box, man. All the links are in the description box. Man. 
bem? Hum. Hum. Man, what's happening, man? What's going on, bro? How are you? I'm good, man. Yo, it's craggy. What's happening, man? What's it, man? Hey. Hey. Whack that young brother out, man. That shit's sad, man. Yeah, man. It's always why we always gotta do our our, our black kings like this, man. Tell you, man. You got the TV on in the background. That's just this shit just sad, man. It's like dang. That brother was um you seem like a good guy, man. You seem like a real good guy, man. It's terrible what happened to him, man. What's up, hot black man? What you think about this, man? I really enjoyed that uh half price hot boy. Mmm. You been there? <laughs> no, I'm just saying that like that little Wayne looking dude. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know who that dude looks like. That dude looks like a bunch of dudes. Kodak Black, he looks like everybody. You yeah, know. he. I was, I was trying to figure it out, uh, looking at him. But shit, yeah, you know this man. He looked like a real good guy, Erica. Yeah, man. Shit, sad, man. Um, let's whack that young brother out, man. He's done. He he's a rap. He's dead. Um. Wow. Wow. Um, oh, 